my two cents. I was listening to my absolutely favorite podcast the other day. It's called Freakonomics. Um, And if you don't have it, please take the time to download it right now because as I've said many times before, learning is an absolute gift and being able to learn in the car is an even bigger gift. So yeah, get on that. They've got a new book out that I'm going to talk to you about, but I don't get any royalties from it, so don't worry if you, uh, you know, you, you're worried about that. Um, it's called Think Like a Freak. And on this podcast the other day, they were talking about the three hardest words in the English language. And the three hardest words they've told us are, I don't know. And as I thought it was really interesting because they went on and did this experiment to show that people just will not say, I don't know. Um, They did it with kids, they did it with adults, and it just, you know, over and over, people would not say, I don't know. What they would do is they'd make something up or they'd fill in the blanks. And it might not be that they were lying, it might be that they truly believed what they were saying. It really got me thinking, um, in our kick-ass communications program, we talk about um, you know, delivering our message in a way that other people can understand it. And we talk about you know, those things where um, the human brain sort of fills in the gaps. And this is one of those things. You know, if you don't know the answer to something, or you don't understand it, or there's some information missing, then you're more likely to fill in the blanks than you are to say, I don't know. And this is so important for messaging in the workplace because what you want to be doing is sending out messages that are meaningful for other people and that they don't have to fill in the blanks. Because how dangerous would it be if you, as a leader, were putting your message out there and you happen to leave out some critical information that was really, really important for these people, they weren't able to grab hold of it. They weren't able to make it meaningful for themselves. So to make meaning out of it, they added some stuff in. They couldn't say, I don't know that bit. So they added some stuff in when they were talking to the next person. And then we have that old game of Chinese whispers, don't we? And it's so deadly in workplaces, this um, adding stuff to a story. So, and you know, a CEO could come out and say, oh, you know, we're having this change and it's going to be really positive and, you know, people's jobs aren't going to be on the line and it's going to be wonderful. It's going to really improve our, um, our ability to, you know, serve our customers and have this really wonderful uh, productive and positive message but if he's not making it meaningful for the people who are on the ground then they're just going to fill in the gaps are you going to am I going to lose my job well he said people won't but that doesn't mean I won't so maybe I will maybe I will instead of saying I don't know so I don't know man scary words hey My name is Michelle Holland and this is my two cents.